Today we're doing a speed run with the WL Toys 144001 after I made a few changes to it over the winter and that's coming up next year on Jesse V Motors. Yep, there everything goes, battery and everything. Alright, hope you guys can see that. It is a 10 miles per hour to make sure the GPS works. We're going to do three runs on 2S. It is a bit windy out here. And this is the first time I'm filming like this, a little bit different. Just using the GoPro on my head. Usually I do two cameras. Leave a comment down below at the end of the video to let me know which way you guys like it. Let's go ahead and do our first run. A little squirrely. There we go though. Go ahead and bring it on back here. <laughs> Hit the gas too hard and spun out down there. This has been my first speed runs in a while. So let's go ahead and bring it back here. At the end of the video, we'll do a recap and I'll tell you guys everything I did to this. So on our first pass, we got 45.6 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and do another pass. All right, here we go with our second pass. All right, get it slowed down here. I think I'm getting this thing to where I'm running out of room in my parking lot here. Let's see what our second pass is. Whoa, we picked up big time on that one, guys. We got 53 miles per hour for the second one. That is definitely a new personal best on 2S with this thing. Let's go ahead and do a third pass. Okay, third and final 2S pass, let's roll. Man, that thing rips. Go ahead, bring it back here. I think some of the changes I made over the winter to this thing really helped out a lot. Let's go ahead. And that time we got 50, 0.5 miles per hour again. Let's go ahead and swap this out and get the 3S battery in it. Okay, we're back from the 2S passes. I'm just getting motor readings here. Got 99. Moving it around here. Yeah, it looks like about 99 is going to be the hottest on that. Go ahead. Check the ESC here. ESC is only showing about 80. So everything's staying nice and cool on 2S. Battery for the people that want to know. Looking at 79 on the battery. So all the temps look good on this for 2S. Let's get the 3S in it. Okay, first 3S pass, let's go. Ooh, got a little squirrely there. We'll go ahead and bring it back and see what that was. I'll throw in an extra pass though. We got up to 45.9 on that. We're spinning out. Let's go ahead and try it again. All right, this is going to, let's say, pass number one if we do it good this time. On 3S, let's go ahead and let's go. And guys, I'm losing control of it. I might have to turn my gyro up. Let's go ahead. See what we got that time around. We got 52.3. I'm going to reset the GPS and I'm going to mess with the gyro real quick and see if I can get it to stop spinning out. Okay, let's go with another pass. Okay, that pass, I only went to about maybe 75% throttle. Let's go ahead and bring it back here. And we still only got 53.6 because I can't get into it. Let's try it one more time. All right, let's try another pass here. Ooh, spun out again. I heard the tires that time. I don't know if you guys heard it when it went by, but I think I've ran into the tire problem now where I'm gonna have to. Yep, we only got 45 on that. So we're gonna have to put some different tires on this to get some traction now. I'll try to do one more pass, but I'm not gonna waste my time and then we'll check the temperatures on the motor. Okay, we're gonna call this one the last pass. 
Yep, there everything goes, battery and everything. We are definitely going to have to do something different with this. Okay, let's walk over here. Here's the GPS. 41 miles per hour. Don't know if you guys can see that. My lipo's over here. Let's see if my lipo's all right. Well, now you guys know what uh, battery I was running. Looks like it's got a little black marks there, but besides that, that looks good. We'll go back here and get the car. And then we'll take some temperatures on it and make sure the car's all right. From here, it looks like everything's all right. Let's take it back to the back end of the car and look at it. All right, let's check the motor here. Even on 3S, we couldn't get no good runs on it, but we're still only hitting about 99 degrees on the motor. That's not bad at all. Go ahead. Hobby Wing ESA, this thing is beautiful with that fan. This ESC, absolutely no problems with temperature. I think 79 was the highest I saw on that. Battery, about the same, about 80 degrees on the battery, 81 and a half, about 82. So we're good on uh, temperature so far on this, so I can push it more. Limiting factor, these tires. Let's go ahead and take it back in and go over what we saw. Okay, the first visible thing I did was is I put the original spoiler back on this but I cut the whole back of it out that was a reduced drag and then I came to the front I added droop screws in and then what I did was I cranked it down until the drive shaft as you can see there was level with the ground then all four shocks I went through and I cranked them down to the very bottom to stiffen it up this seems to help out a lot it's still going nice and straight and I love that about this car. This thing has always gone nice and straight. I adjusted the tow and camber for all the different things on it. Now another thing I did was to the ESC. The ESC, I reset my uh, throttle and my reverse on it. I think all the neutral trim and all that was screwed up from the factory. Or wasn't set right, I should say. So I went in there, recalibrated it. That seemed to help out a lot. Now for 2S change I made is I got rid of my Awamfi 1500 milliamp hour 45C battery and I went to this Ovanic 2250C battery. Now the uh, milliamp hours don't mean nothing on it for speed but the 50C is five more C's than what the Awamfi was so I went to that and I think that made a big of a difference on it. Then as you saw after the crash the battery I'm running for 3S is an Awamfi 1500 milliamp hour 100c 3s battery this is a good little battery right here i never had no issues with it but i think with limiting factor now is these tires i think this will do great once i put my contact foam tires back on it right now these tires were ballooning you could kind of hear them make a noise in a couple of those videos and then when it spun out you definitely could hear a before it wrecked so that is a definite change that we're going to have to do on it then as you saw with this new 2S battery, we did 53 miles per hour, which is a new personal best for 2S with me with this. My personal best is still 60 miles per hour on 3S with this. And that was with everything that I have here before I made all these adjustments with this 3S battery. But as you saw, I have traction issues and I crashed. Luckily, we didn't break nothing that I can find on this at all it just scratched the body up some which is expected but i got very lucky on that didn't wreck nothing so all in all i'm real happy with all the changes that i made over the winter truthfully i think the only change i'm going to make for the next run is is we're going to get rid of these tires and put some contact foam tires on it which i have ran on this before just to see how they do but we're going to get those back on here well that's all i got for today thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. On Facebook, don't forget I got a group over there called RC Car Life. Come in and join on the fun. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.